Hey everyone, my name is Adisha Netuka Hasra and welcome to Learn with Adisha. Today, I'll give you everything you need to know about the basics of algebra, how to simplify equations and how to open brackets. So what even is algebra? It's basically normal arithmetic, but more complex. The, the very basic things you need to know are like terms and how squares work. So like terms are basically like x, 2x. Sorry, my drawing skills aren't great on the computer. But they think like this, x, 2x, 3x, 100x. It doesn't ma matter what the multiplier is in front. Oh yeah, and we just say 2x, not 2 times x. And we don't actually have a time sign in algebra. So we don't say 2 times x. We don't say this at all. We never say that. Never, never, never. We only say 2x. 2x is only acceptable. That's acceptable. But not 2 times x. Reason is because x seems very, very similar to, mm, oh, sorry, oh, oh, why is it doing that? Sorry, x is very similar. It looks very similar to the time sign. I'll show you. Here's algebra x and here's the time sign. Looks very similar, right? Not this one, but there's more accurate ones. Things like this. They look very similar to each other, do they? Exactly why we don't use times in algebra. So x and 2x, 3x, 100x, 1000x, infinity x, any number x is like that. And when we're multiplying something like this, which we call a variable, since it could be any number. So when we're doing something like this, but the front is also a variable, we sometimes, we just replace the number with a variable. So if we're multiplying x by n, we can just say nx or xn. But in this case, n is the one being multiplied and here x is the one being multiplied. See that? Very simple, is it? That's all you need to know for variables. Oh yeah, and if you don't know what variables are, they are things that can vary. It's literally in the name. Variables. Variables. They can vary. So x. x can equal 1, 2, 3, any number at all. Any number. 100. 1,069, 420, anything, really, anything. I will just like go over. Okay. But the thing you need to know is that x and x squared are two totally different terms. They are different. They are not like terms. So x squared and two x squared are like terms, but x is not a like term to, to, to x squared. x and x squared are totally different numbers, and they are not on the same base. Because x is on the base of x, and x squared is on the base of x squared. Same thing with any x squared y y cubed, anything, anything really. And these variables can go from A to Z. Any num any letter at all. Now algebra works like this. So if I say six plus x equals 
10. If I say this, what do you think X is? That's exactly what algebra is. 6 plus something equals 10. But instead of something, we call that X. 6 plus X equals 10. So 6 plus what equals 10? 6 plus 4 equals 10. So X equals 4. We say X equals something. Or that answer that you got. It's very simple to write equations, but very awesome, but can sometimes be incredibly hard to solve them. Okay, that thing won't erase, so let's just go to a different section. Okay, yeah, it won't. But I'll show you something. When we say three bracket x plus minus anything x square, what they actually mean is that bracket is a way of showing times. So three times x plus three times x squared. You have to times it separately, okay? So it becomes three x plus three x squared. But what if instead of x squared, it's three, it's just three x. So x plus three x by three. What you can do here is simplify it as much as possible. So what does this equal? x plus 3x, what is that? Both of them are like terms, so you can add them. Okay, I just want to preface with this. I'm sorry I didn't say this before, but you can add or subtract like terms, but you can't add or subtract unlike terms. However, you can also multiply and divide, no matter if it's a like or unlike term. Yes, you can do that. So instead of x squared, what if it was just 3x? In that case, x plus 3x would be 4x. Yes, I know that sounds like 4x for all the traders. And here, what we're asking is 3 by 4x. What's that? 3 times 4. Don't count x, just count these numbers. 3 times 4, what is that? 12. So 12, sorry, 12 X is the answer, 12 X. If you've got something like 12 X divided by two, what you have to do, 12 X divided by two is just 12 divided by two by X. It's that. So cross out the two, replace that with one, then cross this out because the, you cross these both out because you can divide them both by each other. So this two becomes one, you divide by two. This 12 becomes six, you divide by two. So six X is the answer. Thanks for watching everyone. And I hope you had a nice time learning with me. I sure did. But anyways, see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.